greatest miners over in the UK were from Cornwall, and a lot of them came over to the US and spread a lot of their lore, but they also educated everyone on how to actually use the mine to find gold. And a lot of that revolved around listening to what appears to be paranormal entities, giving you hints of where this stuff is, where to go, where not to go, when to get out of the mine, when there's going to be a cave-in. Tommyknockers were described in the past as little dwarvish men. Miners would actually respect their space, and if they didn't do that, the mine would react in a negative way towards them. Cornish miners were working in California, and they would refuse to enter any mine until the mining company assured them that the Tommyknockers were on duty. Was the mine owner BSing and saying, hey, yeah, the Tommyknockers are here, or was there more of a awareness of these things? Were they showing themselves more back then?